Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful start to 2024. In this video, I wanted to show you guys some empties that I've had in my room for a while from December, end of November. It's not many, but I wanted to show you guys before I recycle them to just, you know, give you guys motivation to use up your products as well as show you guys some of the things that I use. This year, I'm going to show you guys a lot of empties because you already know your girl's trying to use up her products. And you know, let's all motivate each other because I know I'm not the only one who had an overconsumption issue in 2023, but it's all right. We're here to motivate each other. We're not here to judge and yeah let's get started so the first item that i used up is this pink lilac and vanilla hand soap fresh lilac bouquets dewy greens vanilla blossom i love this hand soap i'm not really into florals but i'm okay with florals with my hand soaps and this is a very nice very very floral scent literally smells like a bouquet if I could find this scent again, I would definitely buy it again for the springtime. The next item I used is this Tropical Coconut Nourishing Conditioner from Suave. I usually only use this when your girl can't buy the more expensive conditioners. Because the one that I really like is from Mayel. It's like a rosemary and mint. But that one costs like $12. This costs like 3 So whenever I'm on a budget for the month. I always go to swabs. This is Curly Girl approved and it smells really good. Next item I used is this Warm and Cozy Chilled. The scent notes are Coconut Sorbet Winter Vacay. I really like this one. This one smelled like the original Warm and Cozy with more coconut in it. But yeah, your girl loves Warm and Cozy. This is a discontinued scent and I feel so much satisfaction whenever I get rid of a body mist because Y'all know how long it can take to get rid of one, so very happy to get rid of this one. Next item that I got rid of is this Beach Night Shower Gel. Fragrance notes, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, creamy vanilla. I got this in SAS, I believe in 2022. Mm -mm -mm. I love this scent literally smells like you are roasting marshmallows and eating s'mores with your friends at the beach with a bonfire like you smell the salt in this it's crazy but it smells so good i hope that bath and body works brings this fragrance out again because it just smells so good the next item that i got rid of is this coconut cream pie i don't know if y'all remember that I had this in my project, use it up last year. Fragrance notes, toasted coconut flakes, caramel, custard, golden pie crust. This one smells amazing. Mm. Smells just like a coconut cream pie. I love this one. I hope that Bath & Body Works comes out with this one again. Hopefully sometime in the future because this is a fan favorite. Next item that I got rid of is Champagne Apple & Honey, a mini body cream. This one was also in my project, use it up last year. It's like I started my project Use It Up last year in the beginning, but then I stopped. But towards the end of last year, I ended up going back to my project Use It Up and just using up everything. So I'm happy I got rid of this. Next item that I got rid of is this watermelon mojito, fragrance notes, watermelon soda, pink rum, cane sugar. This one was very nice. It was a very nice watermelon scent. It wasn't too sweet. It wasn't too sugary. It was just like a very nice watermelon drink scent. Next item that I got rid of is this Dr. Squatch Cool Fresh Aloe Bar Soap. Since I've gotten married, I will be using Dr. Squatch a lot. You'll see Dr. Squatch on my project Use It Ups because my husband has a little collection of Dr. Squatch if you guys don't know, it's a company that makes soap for men. They make men natural soap. I really like them because they're very moisturizing. They don't dry out my skin. The only thing is that their fragrances are very light. But, you know, it's a man company. So they probably don't want to overdo it with the scents. But it's very good. I really like this one. 
Next item that I got rid of is this warm vanilla sugar body cream. This one was also my project use it up. I like warm vanilla sugar. I feel like a lot of people don't like warm vanilla sugar, but I like it because it's a very light vanilla. It's not overly sweet. You know, I feel like anyone could wear this type of vanilla scent, so I really enjoyed it. I also got rid of a coconut cream pie body mist. Very delicious. I actually do have one more coconut cream pie in my collection, but I'm going to save it for maybe the end of the year because I like wearing this around the fall winter time. The next item that I got rid of is a Thousand Wishes body cream. And this one was really old. It was from 2016. I usually don't keep products that are that old in my collection, but last year I bought a Mercari bundle that came with a bunch of little Bath & Body Works fragrances and lotions, and this was part of it, so I decided to use it. It smelled very nice. I layered it with the body mist. Next item that I got rid of is this Cupcake Swirl by Body Fantasies. This is actually a fragrance that a lot of people were having a hard time finding, and people were selling it on eBay and Mercari for like double the price. Honestly, I didn't like this scent. It was very spicy, too much cinnamon. I didn't smell too much cupcake. And towards the end of the bottle, I couldn't use it on my body no more. So I was just spraying it on my sheets. And it was nice to smell, but not on my body. Would not purchase again. Next item that I got rid of is this Strawberry Daiquiri Arc Fluoride Toothpaste. I don't see this at the stores anymore, but I'm a girl who doesn't really like to use minty toothpaste all the time. I like to use toothpaste that tastes fruity. So I did enjoy this. Didn't really taste like strawberries, but it wasn't minty, so it was fine. I wouldn't buy it again, though. Next item that I got rid of is this Mary Ruth's CoQ10 Gummies for heart health. I love Mary Ruth's products. They're always a staple. For me and these are very delicious you know because usually people take these as like uh, oil capsules but it's nice that they created these in gummy form the next item is this amazon bake six baby oil gel it smells like baby oil baby powder i use this for layering so that my fragrances could stick onto my skin better the consistency took a while for me to get used to but it really helped with layering my fragrances. I don't think I would buy this scent again, though. If they have, like, a cocoa butter scent one, that's the one that I will buy next time. Next item that I got rid of is these Bergamot Waters Candle. Fragrance notes, sparkling bergamot, pristine blue waters, sugar, citrus, creamy sandalwood. This one was very nice in the beginning. And I really like... The container i think it's very beautiful but towards the end of this candle it was just smelling like hot wax almost smoky like it didn't smell good anymore it was too light so i don't know if they still have this scent out but i would not purchase it again i got rid of a thousand wishes hand sanitizer i really like this one i got rid of a strawberry pound cake hand cream um, i'll always have strawberry pound cake in my collection it's so delicious in my opinion because i know a lot of people don't like it um i don't think i'll buy the hand cream anymore though because i don't really like bath and body works hand creams that much they moisturize my hands but for like five minutes and then i feel like they dry again so i got rid of this i don't even know what the brand is called more than magic lip gloss it's a lip gloss that changes color based off the pH of your lips. And I really liked it because it gave my lips a very nice, like, rosy look. And it was cool because it would go on your lips kind of blue and then it'll turn pink. It's really nice. And I got rid of these two travel size deodorants by each and every. Coconut and lime and rose and vanilla. I absolutely love this brand. The texture of the deodorants are kind of creamy. It's sort of like, um, I can't explain, but it's like a solid. When you put it under your arms, it's kind of oily, I guess you could say. However, they smell delicious. You can smell the scent all day and you don't smell and they're natural. 
note aluminum and i would purchase this again but the deodorants are kind of pricey but i would definitely order them again they're really good i don't even know if i should show this one <laughs> This is a hair oil that I used, but as you can see, I don't even remember what brand this is, but I will find out because I bought this from Amazon. Basically, this is to help make your hair stronger and to grow it out because I'm, I'm trying to grow out my hair. I really want long hair. And I think it, I think it helped because back in 2022, my hair was like up to here and like now my hair is like up there so i i think it's working because i've been oiling my hair since last year i feel like my hair is growing longer than usual so yeah and it had a nice scent but i don't think i would purchase it again because i actually found another hair oil that i like even more this one was kind of thin the one that i use now is very thick so i wouldn't purchase this again next item that i got rid of is this strawberry daiquiri candle Fragrance notes, frozen strawberries, sweet simple syrup, shot of tropical rum, zesty citrus fruit. I'll always have this in my candle collection. It's just a nice strawberry scent. The throw is very good on this one. Every time I smell this candle, I think about summer. Like, I love this candle. We'll always have it in my collection. Next item that I got rid of is this sweater weather. As you can see... Uh, I had to make a hole because this stopped working for some reason. I'm so glad that I got rid of this one because I hated this scent last year. But honestly, when I started wearing it more and more, I started to like it more. Because when I first started wearing it, to me, it smelled like air. Like, you know, when you're outside too long, you come in, you have that outside smell with a mix of apple. I didn't like that. But then as I was wearing it, it smelled more like you eating an apple, like the juices from the apple. That's what it started to smell like to me. So I liked it towards the end, but I don't think I'd purchase this one again because I prefer other apple scents that Bath & Body Works has, like champagne, apple, and honey. But this one I will not purchase again. The last item that I got rid of is this Warm Vanilla Sugar Shimmer Body Lotion. I don't know what year this one's from. I think 2017, but I really enjoyed it. It was a nice light vanilla scent, but the texture of this lotion was different. Kind of like the Victoria's Secret body lotions, how it's kind of liquidy. And the shimmer was very faint, like it wasn't too much shimmer. Overall, I really enjoyed this. I wish that Bath & Body Works would make shimmer lotion more instead of the Glotion. But yeah, delicious. I wouldn't purchase this again because they don't have the shimmer lotions anymore, but I will always have warm vanilla sugar in my collection. Okay, guys, that was it for my empties. If you guys like empty videos, consider subscribing because I will have empties every month. And I already spoke to my husband. So he said he was okay with this. I plan to keep all my Bath & Body Work empties from this whole year. And I'm going to show you guys at the end of the year. I'm going to make a video on it. One, I can see visually how much products I can use in the year. And so that it helps me not buy so much going forward. Because I'm not trying to overbuy this year. I'm really not up. really trying to like just, you know, control myself more. Because I have a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and God bless.